Sean was pretty emphatic in there just now with us about um, the just compounding of either errors or unlucky things in the second quarter in particular. Yeah. It, what do you learn from something like that when the game ultimately ends up this way? Yeah, I think we have to play uh, complimentary ball, right? And that's what that's what the game is all about. It's about momentum. And so, um, and sometimes even if you get put in a good position, a bad position, it doesn't matter. It's a, it's a team unit. So, uh, you know, we, we had a stop on third down, I think, down in the red zone after they got um, – after they got the what, fumble or something like that. And so if we're able to, to play penalty free ball, then you know we're off the field and we hold them to three. Um, and so I think that's honestly what it comes down to. Uh, those little margins, they do make a big effect on the game. So um, more than anything, it's when one side is down, the other side has to step up. When Swift broke that long run, how do you kind of bounce back mentally, emotionally? Because you felt like that was a gut punch. The, the long, long run, was that yeah. the screen? Uh, I think it was right up the middle. The slant on the wall. Yeah. Got you. Yeah. Um, you know, I think at that point it's just go back, see kind of where it hits you. I remember, I remember what you're talking about now. Um, it's, it's go back and see kind of where it hits you. And, I mean, ultimately we had a pretty good beat on the run game. Yeah. Um, and so it's, you know, you, you, the last thing you want to do is panic. And we didn't panic. We did a good job of coming right back out there, being able to see it on tape, being able to see what runs they're trying to hit on us, and being able to go back and adjust. And so, you know, obviously on, on a run like that, like you'd hope that somebody would be able to get them down uh, and that you can just look to, to find another snap. But, um, you know, teams are going to have big plays. It's the NFL. Everybody's a professional. So um, it's just about being able to move on and have that competitive stamina. That's something Sean's talked about a ton this, uh, this week, is having the competitive stamina to, to continue to do the right thing. What did you Got see it. in Kill? Yeah. Um, I mean, how difficult is it to walk out of here with a loss after so many missed opportunities? It's tough. I mean, it, it's hard, you know, because, like, the person I am, the competitor I am, I, I expect to come out on top or just even just go down and try and fight hard, you know, and I think that's what we did, but. Um, I think there's little things in the game that, you know, even for myself, that we could have been better on um, to allow the execution to be better on the offensive side of the ball and not be able to put more uh, points on the board. But, you know, um, knowing who these guys are, knowing who we are in the offense, I know everybody's feeling the same way that I am. And I just know um, that this week of work is going to be something that we, we need a lot. How concerned are you about not getting in for touchdowns, especially in the red zone? You said what? Not getting in for touchdowns and settling for field goals yeah. in the red zone. Oh, um, I mean, it's tough, you know. I mean, obviously, as an offense, you know, as some like me, like I said, I'm a competitor that I am, I want, we want to score. We want to get down there, we want to move the ball, we want to score, we want to put those in. So, um, this is little things that we got to be better at execution wise. And I don't, I don't believe um, anybody in this in this locker room um, disagrees with that. And I know that everybody will go to work and do those things so that doesn't happen again. The production you were able to get on the ground today, just uh, what went into that and, and how did you feel about your performance? Um, I think it was, well, first of all, I think the, the whole line did a phenomenal job um, handling the front five and even the linebackers as well. They were giving me holes that um, that I should have done more with. You know, I, the holes that they were giving me, man, I should have had probably about four or five explosives, you know, not no five, six runs, uh, five, six yard gains on those holes. So um, I know on me, I, I, I got to be better when I get past the initial line and um, get to the linebackers and being able to just, you know, uh, make cuts and make people miss. And I know I just got to continue to keep getting better at that. Yeah, I mean, um, obviously you don't want to be backed up. Obviously it takes 95 yards to go get a touchdown. And it's something um, we knew we had, but like honestly, that's part of the game. You know, that offense, you can't. You can't say you want the ball to 15, the 15 or 30. You can't. It just happens when you the ball may lay. That's when you pick up and play. Um, and so as an offense, I just think um, in those situations, um, just be execution wise, be better. You know, and just um, not worried about how long we gotta go. But you know, just staying connected for six. I mean, one play, six second intervals, and just being who we are. And I know it's fresh, but then coming off of that, losing a yard on the outside run, and then the inside run. Yeah. What happened on those two plays? See, that's why I'm so upset right now because you know whatever the outside zone is, but um, the, that inside zone, that was me. I just got to pick the freaking feet up and go and run, you know. I just, you know, probably got two down myself. Um, honestly, and that's just like, that's something that I'm eating. It's eating at me right now, because yeah, that's something that I would've got the first down on and the drive would've stayed alive. So, you know, it's tough, and I just got to be able to be good the next time. That last pass you had, Matthew, that's the 10th all-time with the senior. I don't know if you knew that at the time, but what if that was a misplace on it, so you know, it was 
Uh, I mean, it's dope. You know, just be able to see something, uh, be around a person who, you know, you love. I love the game of football, and so being around a person like Matthew, who's you know, he's been a great at this game for such a long time. It's it's so cool. You know, it's a blessing because you know, I grew up watching Matthew. You know, and so being around, being able to play with him, you know, share the same field with him, you know, be able to experience the same things with him, it's, it's dope. Um, and I, you know, I cherish those moments because, like I said, I love this game of football, and he represents football in a great way.